So I used to be a filmmaker. I spent my entire life trying to perfect the art of making beautiful, thought-provoking films. Um, I would spend years sometimes working on a project, scrutinizing over the tiniest detail. And um, you know, like any, any filmmaker, any artist, uh, the greatest reward is for people to actually recognize you for what you do. And uh, one day everything changed. I can't help be upset. I can't help feel betrayed. Because what I'm now most famous for is uh, a piece of trash home video that I filmed on my phone of baboons taking a dump in a house. The baboon video went viral. And uh, the first few days were daunting. I saw my dreams um, slipping through my fingertips. And um, by the time it got to Time magazine, I knew that the baboon had won. Howard Fivey, and what in the world was going on that there were baboons in this neighborhood? I spent a lot of time in my room by myself, kind of soul searching, kind of writing poetry, and um, you know, just doing sketches of, of how I feel. And then my therapist, my therapist gave me some advice, and he, he said, you know what you need to do? You need to face your fear. Went to the petting zoo, and uh, I uh, faced the baboon face to face. And I remember the moment when I stood before the baboon and I saw him. And I stared at the baboon in his eyes and suddenly I had a revelation and I realized that the baboon is not my fear, the baboon is my freedom. I need to embrace the baboon and the baboon needs to embrace me. Mutualism, symbiosis. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid of the press. I'm not afraid of the media. I'm getting interviews now with nature filmmakers around the world and I'm going for it. I'm the baboon whisperer and I'm okay with that. Oh my gosh, baboons. <laughs> Y'all wanna play with my prison cat? Guess who's here tonight? I'm here tonight. Your papa's here tonight. Your papa gonna show you who's here tonight. Uh, I've learned to embrace who I am. <laughs> um, so much so that I'm trying to take it to the next step. I'm trying to actually become the baboon. You know, I used to hate on them. I used to hate on them with a passion. But now, I love on them with a passion. I've been working on ways to become more than just, you know, a man painting his face. I'm trying to really figure out how I can become part of the baboon. My goal is to be integrated into their society, into their tribal nomadic world. And uh, I'm just thankful that I've, I think I've found a way to now actually do that, to go ape. Ivy, and I am the Baboon Whisperer.